Hello there and happy Thursday. I hope you're having a wonderful week so far. This is the final week of summer, the unofficial or official final week of summer because Labor Day is this weekend. And if you're in central New York, upstate New York, like we are, it is the last week of summer before kids go back to school next week, which means back to routine, back to consistency, back to focusing on you and your goals and taking care of you and your family. Nutrition is a huge piece of that. If you feel tired, if you feel worn out, you feel burnt out, you feel like you have a hard time Time, which is staying awake throughout the day, your hunger is all over the place, your cravings are all over the place. Nutrition is the biggest thing that can help you make those changes and help you feel better overall with your nutrition and with your food. So we're going to talk today about a little bit of meal planning and preparation. Um, our brand new free guide is out now and it is all about getting you back to routine, helping you meal plan for success with ease. It gives you a week long meal planner in there, 12 easy meal ideas and recipes to help you get started on making some balanced meals. Um, and it also gives you our step-by-step -step guide on like what to look for with these meals, how to make this consistent. And we're going to use one of those steps right here today. So I'm going to challenge you to grab your calendar, grab whatever you have, and we're going to look at it and we're going to plan some meals for next week. You can use, if you would like, um, there's meal planning like sheets that you can find on Amazon. Those are another really great option too. Um, or you can just use your old calendar. You could use it on your phone as well. But one thing that I like to do, and I want you to do this here with me too, is first before you choose anything that you're going to be having, write down your schedule for the week. So I'm going to go through and I know that I've got no calls on Monday. Write that down so I know that I have maybe a little bit more time to meal plan and prep. I might end up doing that on Monday. I know. Let me check my schedule for Tuesday and see what we have going on so that can help me make some choices. I want you to write down when meetings you have. So I have a meeting 6 to 7 at night for the state board that I'm on. So that's going to change what we're having for dinner. I know Wednesday I've got dinner out with our wedding coordinator. I know Thursday I have an appointment. Actually, Monday, or even Wednesday morning I've got networking, so I'm going to write that down. Thursday I have an appointment, so we're going to write that down. And I think Saturday I have a concert to go to. So that gives you a better idea of like, okay, what do I have going on this week? What, um, what type of meals do I need? So after I kind of come through and say, okay, what's going on? I definitely want my breakfast to be ready to go. I've got some early mornings next week. I've got some like 8.30, 9 o'clock calls. Um, and I've also got an early morning networking. So I know that I need to have breakfast done for the week. So what I'm thinking is going to be a casserole. I'm probably going to do a casserole that has some hash browns on the bottom. It has eggs, has a little bit of chicken sausage or turkey sausage with it, and it has a bunch of vegetables in there too. So I'm going to write down for the week, I'm just going to make a breakfast casserole and it's going to be something that I can reheat and eat all week long that has that protein carb and color to it. Maybe you want to do oatmeal. Maybe you want to make eggs every morning. It all depends on what your schedule is, but if you're getting back to school, I really like having a casserole ready to go. For lunches, I'm almost kind of feeling keeping it simple and even just doing sandwiches. That's something that's easy for us. I can make maybe like a buffalo chicken wing dip on the side that would increase the protein. So I'm thinking for lunches for next week because I'm okay with eating the same lunch pretty much throughout the week. It's either going to be sandwiches or sandwiches rotating with a snack plate. So that would be like, I can then roll up the turkey that I would use. I can roll up some of the cheese, put some crackers on there. I'll make some buffalo chicken wing dip for this weekend for college football. And then I'll be able to have those leftovers too throughout the week to increase that protein intake. And this is a really good option with a snack plate and the sandwiches of trying to do a colder or maybe it's a salad or something, a colder dish on those days where you're like, I don't have the 30 minutes to sit down and eat. It's going to be half of something that I have to multitask with. Meals like that where you can kind of just pick at it while you're working can be a really great way to get in the nutrition and make sure that you have something ready and balanced too. 
And all right, for dinner, so I know that I have one dinner out on Wednesday, so I don't need to plan dinner for Wednesday. Tuesday, I've got networking from six to seven, so that needs to be a leftover day. So whatever I'm making on Sunday, I'm probably gonna end up maybe doing a crock pot or another type of casserole so I can have those leftovers on Tuesday. So I'm gonna write that down on my calendar. It's gonna be leftovers. Monday, I'm going to do meatball sandwiches because I can either use the leftover meatballs that I have this week for lunch, um, or I can pick up some meatballs from the freezer section, grab some, you know, just even hamburger buns, mash the meatballs on there, throw a slice of provolone cheese, pair a salad with it, and you've got an easy protein, carb, and color meal. So Tuesday is going to be leftovers. I'm probably going to take those leftover meatballs, maybe throw them on some pasta or take whatever the crock pot is that I make on Sunday. So then Thursday, I need another quick meal. I think it's going to be a grill night for us as long as the weather is going to be okay because grilling is pretty easy. I can throw hamburgers on the grill. I'm probably going to end up throwing chicken breast on the grill and it'll be an easy way to get um, a balanced meal. I'll throw probably some zucchini on there too um, and then maybe throw a pasta salad together. I know I have a box pasta salad up in the fr or in the pantry that I can throw together too. So we'll do that as grill night. And I'm going to have, let's say, chicken breast with zucchini. And we'll do pasta salad. So protein, carb, and color. Saturday is definitely going to be another meal out. So I don't need to plan that. And then Friday, I'm feeling something seafood related. I'll probably end up doing something with shrimp, maybe pan frying shrimp. Um, and then maybe doing some sort of like rice or maybe like a creamy pasta with it. Something that sounds really good. Maybe some roast up some vegetables again. I'm just going to write that down. So once you have the idea of what you're going to make, I like to keep things simple. I don't always follow recipes. Then you can make that grocery list, which is going to make going grocery shopping for the week ahead so much easier. So after you know what you're having, writing down that grocery list, okay, what do I need now? Um, and then being able to grocery shop or Instacart, whatever you use will be easier for you to kind of set that in action um, and to feel better about choices and balance and all of that stuff as well. Something that I want you to think about too, as you're planning your meals for the week is also taking into consideration weekends. So I have gotta make sure that I have enough sandwich meat or even enough stuff for those snack plates that I can have leftovers on next weekend, the seventh and the eighth, because they're gonna be a little bit busy for us. We're a couple weeks out from our wedding, so a lot of things are starting to pick up as far as stuff that we have to do. I don't wanna have to have another meal out there. I'm already gonna have a meal out on that Saturday. So if I can make sure that there's leftovers and that there's enough of that breakfast casserole or even just eggs and toast for me to have on hand at home, it'll make the a lunches, breakfast, dinners for those weekends a heck of a lot easier. So use your calendar, figure out what you have going on, starting to brainstorm some of those ideas, keeping in mind that PCC can really be helpful to make balanced meals that are actually satisfying. With that free guide, you're gonna get 12 of our easy balanced meal ideas and more of that in-depth step-by-step to help you meal plan and prep for success. But I hope you learned something today. Let us know what you learned down in the comments below. Will you start using this? Um, one of our former clients had a really great idea and I love sharing this too is having theme nights so they'll do crock pots on Sundays leftovers on Mondays taco some sort of taco or Mexican dish on Tuesdays pasta on Wednesday seafood on Thursday pizza on Friday out to dinner on Saturday so having that kind of cadence can also help you too with making better choices controlling your grocery bill and never having to think about like well what am I gonna have thinking about that genre let's say of those meals can really be helpful so you can grab that brand new free guide down in the comments below right now. You download it. It sends it right to your email address. You'll also get recipes from us every single week and so much more amazing content from Nourish with Emily. Thank you so much for joining us this week. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you soon.